Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, to answer questions that I've been getting that is, you know, kind of kind of questions you get every time there's a new update to Windows 10 that is about to arrive soon. I will do two videos. This one is about why you should move to the October 2020 update. So if you are a tech enthusiast and you like news, you know, seeing new things, well, there's the added bonus of a few new features, including the start menu that adapts to, you know, your uh, background and your different colors. So this could be a fun thing for a lot of people that are, you know, uh, tech enthusiasts that like to see new things. There's a few little things in the settings app that, was, that have changed. There are a few things that have changed in uh, different areas. Look at my quick review that I did a couple of weeks ago if you want to see more details of everything. So that's for the tech enthusiast in you. The uh, second reason you might want to move on is depending on what version of Windows 10 you have, maybe you're getting very close to moving on. And that means that maybe your Windows 10 version is about to expire. And that is the reason why um, you might want to move on. So why or would you have uh, a Windows 10 version that actually has end of support? Well, a typical Windows 10 version for consumers is 18 months. So what's happening right now is the October 2018 update. Those are uh, getting the last updates for security in November. They've extended by six months the updates to that version because of COVID. But you're getting close. You're still, you will have patch Tuesday updates for security in October and in November, and then it's over. If you want to stay safe, you'll have to move on to a version of Windows 10. Well, if you have to move on, why not move on to the latest version? Also, if you are on the May 2019 update, well, that version expires in December, a month after the October. Uh, 2018 update. That means you also should be moving on to this new version in October. Why not? And one of the reasons why you should move on also is that it's, it's going to give you that 18 months of, you know, quietness before you have to absolutely move on to some other version at some point. So these are things that you got to look at. And remember, um, for the rest, if you're already on the May 2020 update, well, um, you know what, the uh, reason why you should maybe move on to the, May, the October 2020 update is for the fact that it's a simple cumulative update. It's not a major update. It doesn't take, you know, hours to install. It'll be a cumulative update that's going to install and give you a few new features, including the new start menu. But it's still the same version pretty much as the May 2020 update. They are the same version moving forward. So this means that why not move on um, for the sheer fact that it's a simple update rather than a major feature update that could, you know, potentially have more problems when you actually move on to this new version. So these are some of the reasons why you might want to move on to the October 2020 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.